Uh, good evening, guys. I'd like to talk about five random Ruby tips today. My name is Akira Hiraka from Vapo, which is a restaurant discovery app. And I'm currently Ruby and iOS engineer, and now recently learning Go. So let's get started. And number one, uh, Leven Shine Distance. Uh, have you heard of this name before? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a string metric to, it's actually not like a pure Ruby tip, but this is a string metric to measure the difference between two sequences. And it gives you the distance so that you can tell how different the two sequences are each, uh, from each other. So that, for example, Ruby and Rugby, so the distance is one because the difference is G. So this can be used, used to implement suggest feature like Google suggest, you know. So, but I actually I won't go into the detail today. But roughly simply say, to make some matrix, matrix, and calculate and uh, compare the characters and calculate from from upper left to lower right. So this. This part is a final distance. <coughs> hmm. Okay, uh, so yeah, and I have implemented this Levenstein distance before, so let me show you a demo. Okay, uh, so let's say test uh, LD. This is a shortcut for Levenstein distance. So <coughs> test, test. So this is a distance. <coughs> Num oh, you can see. Yeah. So one is a distance because there is additional T here. And also, let's say, Akira, my name. So the distance is five. <coughs> Maybe it's not good. Example. Hmm. Yes. So this is number one, Levenstein distance. Okay. So you do that to weight different order of the values? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, number two. Uh, Rails 4.2 support JSON B type in Postgres 9.4. Does anyone use Postgres now? Yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah, yes, uh, we also use Postgres. You know, originally, since 9.2, Postgres has supported JSON type. But from 9.4, Postgres supports JSONB type. And also, Rails 4.2 supports JSONB type. But what's the difference JSONB versus? Oh, difference JSONB and JSON. It's, both of them is for storing JSON data into Postgres. But, also, but JSONB is binary. And JSON is string, and search is faster than JSON, but string size will be bigger than JSON type. So, like if you if you prioritize storage efficiency, it's better to use JSON type. But if search efficiency, it's better to use JSON B. But actually, we haven't <laughs> used JSON B and also JSON type on pr practice yet. But so. I also made sample demo. Yes. So 
because I made one table which is which called food and there's two columns the one is time stamp time stamps the other one is JSON uh, payload the type is JSON B and I have already migrated data so like uh, okay so here So this is a food model. Yes. And this method, uh, this class method, sample data. This is for just make sample data. And here, just put hash JSON data. Uh, it's actually hash uh, into payload. So make. So it's actually you can put any data and here oh but by the way if you if you specify like two same duplicated name the first key will be removed and also when you search it's actually Yes, uh, as I said, like we haven't used JSONB yet, but we think like uh, this JSONB can be used to improve our search, our, our food reviews, so that we can have like a dynamic data attribute. So this is number two, JSONB, and number three, uh, protected method. Its protected method can be called with a receiver. That the receiver must be in the inheritance hierarchy of the caller. So it's, I think it's not enough description. So let me show you a demo. It's here. Uh, so I made like a sample class. It actually does nothing. But there are two methods. One is public on the same day. But this method just call get day, which is protecting method. So if I come down to here and make one instance call M1. So if I call M1 here, so what's going to happen? No method error. Yeah. Raises no method error here, here. But what if so he can come to here and second part? So I make an another instance here and pass it to M1 method. So what's going to happen? Actually, it doesn't raise error here. Uh, of course, like if I make another class and define same method here, and if I pass the the instance to the fake meetup instance, so what's going to happen? <laughs> yes. Raises put uh, error, right? Yeah, so number three was, yeah, protect, protected method can be called with a receiver, but it must be in the inheritance hierarchy of the caller. 
So this is number three, and number four is actually it's, it's quite simple. Sometimes maybe uh, you want to you want to iterate two arrays all together. So how can I do it? So just zip, do zip, and do it, do each return value. So you can do it. You can iterate all together. So like this. And lastly, number five is also a simple one, uh, frozen constant. So as you know, so constant is mutable. So if you want to make, if you want to make uh, array and also elements immutable, it's better to use, it's better to do like freeze and freeze like this. Uh, I usually don't, don't don't write like this. I use I all usually take this way, simple one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Any questions for Akira? No. Thank you.